Hey guys, this is Janie Charlo, family nurse practitioner and owner of NP's Hired Health and Weight Loss, okay? We are a health and weight management clinic and we focus on the whole patient. So we focus on mind, body, and spirit for a complete transformation. Anytime we want to make any changes in our life, especially when it comes to health and wholeness, uh, we want to focus on all parts of the body, including that for weight loss, okay, and weight management. Um, a lot of people just wanna lose weight for an occasion or for the class reunion or for a wedding or for a particular event. But I really, really focus on wellness as a journey and not as one destination or one party. So in this, this particular video, I wanna talk about accountability. And I am going to share my screen so that we could show that. All right, so again, my name is Janie Charlotte, family nurse practitioner. And if you want to follow on social media, you can find me on Instagram at nurse practitioner underscore hired. And I am certified in obesity treatment and management in primary care. All right, so today we're gonna talk about accountability, all right? So what is accountability? Accountability is doing what you said you would do, okay? It's taking responsibility, for one's own actions. It's practicing ownership of the good and not so good parts of ourselves. So we own both the good and the bad. You know, most people just wanna focus on the good, but we never grow that way. And it also is the foundation for creating the life we desire to live. If we cannot be accountable for ourselves, we will never be able to be accountable for others, okay? So accountability starts with self, all right? Why is accountability important? If we never move into accountability, we will always blame others for the life we live. We will always, um, we, will, we will never be able to grow to our full capacity on all levels in mind, body, and spirit. And accountability, account, accountability allows us to create the life we truly want to live from the driver's seat, all right? And that's what we call ownership, all right? So how does accountability show up in our lives? Anytime we desire a positive change, we have to become accountable. So when we're trying to grow into a healthy lifestyle, like losing weight or just becoming healthier, when we're trying to achieve a financial goal, when we're trying to achieve a dream job, uh, when we're trying to cultivate healthy relationships, when we're trying to balance life. But it also is important when we make mistakes and when we do not do what we need to do. All right, that's how accountability shows up. All right, um, what does being accountability, what does being accountable require? It requires constant self-evaluation. And as you can see on this slide, I have, there's basically an accountability continuum, all right? So where do you stand? Do you stand as the victim or do you stand as being accountable? When we are the victim, and remember on the first slide, I said it takes you out of being the victim and blaming others. We blame others, you know, we find excuses, you know, we wait for things to happen instead of, you know, taking that initiative step into getting things to get started. And we just hope it gets better. All right, but when we are accountable, we acknowledge reality, we own it, so we take ownership and we find solutions, all right? So we don't just talk about the problems, we take accountability, we find the solutions and we try to implement solutions as well. All right, so, what does being accountable, accountable require? And the best way to do self-evaluations are to ask yourself questions, all right? Not ask other people questions, but ask yourself questions. How am I showing up in my life for myself and others? Am I being intentional? Am I keeping my word to myself and others? Am I being honest or dishonest with myself and others? Am I doing all that I can to become the best and highest version of myself? Am I in tuned with my emotions? Am I honest with myself and others about how I feel? Do I know how to say no? Do I have healthy boundaries? Am I a people pleaser? Am I co completing tasks that I set for myself? Can I admit when I am wrong? Can I apologize to others? Am I forgiving of myself and others? Am I growing? Am I leading by example? 
So as you can see, these are all self questions and we have to ask ourselves the hard questions so that we could work in that space to answer them honestly with ourselves. So here's another photo of a being accountable versus blaming others. And most successful people, they take responsibility for their futures, their failures, everything else, all right? Unsuccessful people tend to blame others for their failures, all right? So attributing your misfortune to something or someone else to avoid taking responsibility for your actions is victim. You're playing the victim. All right. Accountability also leads to self-mastery. And this quote comes from Seven Steps to Mastering Emotions, in which I author. You could get this book on Amazon or on our website. And the quote says, he who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. And I like that quote because it it forces us into accountability, all right? And so it starts with ourselves. And mastering emotions. Emotions is just energy in motion. So we have to learn to take accountability for ourselves. When we do this, it leads to self-mastery. All right. So here is a nice chart that I have seven steps to self-mastery. And as you can see, how do we get to self-mastery? Well, we start with step one in self-awareness, accountability. Accountability is the very first step in self mastery, which is mastering yourself. So seeing yourself clearly and objectively through reflection and introspection, all right? That's accountability. And um, then you move into self-exploration, then you move into self-discovery, then you move into self-understanding, self-love, self-transformation, and then self-mastery, okay? Um, I won't go through all of those steps, but as you can see, accountability is right here at the very basic foundation. So as you become the best and the highest version of yourself, you have to step into accountability, all right? So how are we being accountable? And when I say we, I'm talking about myself, I'm talking about NP's Hired Health and Weight Management Clinic. So these are all the things that I have going on. And I have NP's Hired Health and Weight Management. We have Bridge to Healthcare. We have Matters of the Heart and Soul podcast on this slide. So NP's Hired Health and Weight Management, this is our big, great health disparity that we are trying to combat. This is the mission that we have taken on, all right? We use a holistic approach in mind, body, and spirit. We do transformational coaching, and I use some of these books, like Seven Steps to Mastering Emotions, um, as I coach clients as well, because we cannot, um, cha not all change is transformation, all right? So some people just change for the meantime. But true transformation, you, you're a totally different being, all right? Um, I, we do blend both science and holistic medicine. That's important. Um, I am totally all for nature. I think nature teaches us so much about ourselves. We are nature, all right? But we have advanced. We have advances in science. The problem is sometimes science wants to overpower nature, and I think we can't. We have to have a good balance, all right? Nature is the first teacher. And then we have telemedicine options available as well. So we do can do our consultations via telemedicine from the comfort of your home. We could do transformational coaching as well from the comfort of your home. All right. You can visit our website at www.nphired.com. Moving on to Bridge to Healthcare, which is, um, I like to say it's my baby. Um, and we are starting to grow it. It is a nonprofit 501c3 organization missioned to provide a host of programs and services in mental, physical, spiritual, and relational health care. Okay. Um, this is how we bridge the gaps in healthcare. We totally operate on donations. All of your donations are tax exempt. So please think of us. Uh, when you are making those donations at the end of the year, throughout the year, Giving Tuesday, all of that stuff. All right, Bridge to Healthcare, and um, it's, it's truly a mission work. You can visit that website at www.bridgetohealthnow.org. All right, and then we have Matters of the Heart and Soul podcast. We are in season three. 
And this podcast is inspired by all things of the heart and soul, awakening humanity to everything that is already inside. So as I said, we do everything from a holistic approach, mind, body, and spirit. And so matters of the heart and soul is how we connect all of those parts, the heart, the mind, the body, the spirit, all of that. So we talk about everything on the podcast that is aligned in heart and soul um, and that aligns the heart and the mind. So all of that. You can find Matters of the Heart and Soul on all podcasting platforms and on YouTube if you prefer to watch it, okay? Um, And a few of our books, Seven Steps to Mastering Emotions, all right? Gaining Emotional Intelligence and Getting the Best Out of Life. It is available on Amazon. It's available on our uh, website, nphire.com. We do have the ebook for immediate download on the website as well. Um, It's a power tool, all right? It it will lead you to self-mastery. It is, it's a process. So it, it will teach you how to recognize emotions analyze emotions, then how to change up your your normal triggers and responses, how to recognize triggers and how to heal yourself for that. And like I said, it's a process and during different phases and stages of your life, you may have to come back through the different steps that'll help you. All right. And the other book you have, I have listed there is Capacity to Love and Awakening to Unconditional Love. This is also available on Amazon and it's also available on our um, on our website, nphire.com. Uh, for the immediate ebook download. It is also available in hard copy and Kindle on Amazon. Capacity to Love is very multi layer and it has a lot to do with the new energy that we're experiencing right now but most important it is about a love story that really is all about self-love and awakening to where that that true divine love comes from it's already within all of us we don't have to do anything anything to achieve it as we've been taught we've been sought to seek love outside of ourselves but love is is within us especially this divine love that connects everything that's in the cosmos and so that book will take you deeper all right so those are the things in how we're currently being accountable all right so that is was a quick, 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 very quick um, video on accountability. If you have any questions, if you want a consultation, you can go to our website at nphire.com. We have some forms there. If you need a medical consultation, you just click on that, put in your information, hit submit, it comes directly to us. If you need a weight management consultation, pick the weight management consultation, put your information in, it will come to us. If you need transformational coaching consultation, put your information in, hit submit, it will come to us. We will contact you for the consultation, all right? Um, And these are some other ways that I could be reached personally. Uh, Email is nphired at gmail.com. As I said earlier on social media, on Instagram, I am nurse practitioner underscore hired. My website is nphired.com. So remember, guys, accountability is the foundation in any and everything that you want to do. All right. It starts with owning it for ourselves first. All right. I thank you so much and so kindly. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, You know, we're, we're here to help you in whichever way we can in mind, body and spirit. Thanks.